hello friends welcome to geeky rapid welcome to our series on cucumber so now uh, after knowing that uh, how cucumber works now it's time to get our hands dirty and let's start some coding so for that the prerequisite should be that uh, you should have at least an eclipse installed in your uh, system and uh, if you're having it so just open it and now uh, there is one more prerequisite so in order to start off we will be creating a maven project so in order uh, to do that we should have maven installed in our eclipse so we uh, if you are having then it is good and if we are not having then there is a very good link uh, which is provided by tools qa so with the help of this reference uh, you can install maven in uh, your eclipse id and then we can begin so i will provide this link in the description uh, please go through it if you are not having maven installed in eclipse and just install it and start uh, so now once you are in a, your eclipse id the first thing that we will be doing is uh, we will be creating a maven project so in here in cucumber we will have to prepare a feature file a step definition file as well as a step runner uh, file so in for doing this let's start off by creating a maven project so to do so just right click in here and say java uh, instead of a java project just click on other and you will be going to this window so now as maven is already installed in my eclipse so in here i am seeing the different maven options so if it is not there so just follow the link and install it so now once you are having maven just go to it and click on maven project just click on next Uh, keep this as it is and if you want to change the workspace just specify in here otherwise keep it as the default one just click on next then just click on next and in here you will have to specify the group id and the artifact id so always remember the artifact id that you will be doing is uh, will always be your project name and the group id that you will be giving that will be your package name so now uh, as we are going to so there is a demo site called as new tours so we are going to see a scenario that uh, we should be able to log in using a username and password and then later on we'll be parameterizing it and we'll be seeing that how it goes with multiple users and everything so first of all the first scenario that we will be concentrating is on logging into this uh, new tool site so in this case so let us give our artifact id which will be our project name as new tools and for now uh, the group id let it be as cucumber so just click on finish so once the project is completed now you can see whatever the artifact id we provided that came as an uh, project name and if we expand this so uh, by default the structure will be created a uh, maven project structure will be created and there will be a pom xml that this is the default pom xml file and there will be two folders that is source main java and source test java so if you go in this you will be seeing the package name as well which we provided as uh, for cucumber so if you can see the package name is as uh, taken as cucumber and in this also it will be reflected in the next folder okay so for now what we will do we will be deleting it and we will be creating our own package so let's quickly delete it okay so before creating the actual package and the feature file and step definition file as well as the test runner file one thing what we need to do is just double click on your pom xml so now uh as you can see we need to add some dependencies that will be needed for us while coding so for now the junit uh, dependency is already there so what i will do is we will just go in and we will this remove this junit dependency and then we will be adding our custom dependency so we whatever is needed for uh, the flow to complete i have recorded that uh, means i've just taken it in a file and i've saved it yeah so these are all the dependencies that are needed in your pom.xml so let us see one by one so first one is the cucumber java so you are scripting language java so that's why we are taking this dependency 
then we will be using JUnit. That's why Cucumber JUnit was also one of the uh, main dependency that will be used. Then we will have Cucumber JVM Deeps. So this is one more uh, dependency. So at the time of interview, sometimes they will ask what dependencies uh, you are using in your project. So you will need to specify what we have used in this POM file. So whatever we have used while creating the project, all those should be listed. And if possible, all those should be told. Then we will need something for reporting. So that's why it, uh, Cucumber reporting dependency also we will add. Then as we are using Gherkin language, so the dependency for it is also added. And now if you can see, as we are using JUnit, the earlier one which we removed, uh, we can keep it as it is, or we can uh, again add with new version or anything. So if the version changes, just change the version in here and add for any type of dependency. And the lastly, as we will be using Selenium to code in the step definition file, so we'll be adding a Selenium dependency. And if the Selenium version changes, just change the version and add it. So just copy all this dependency and go and paste it here. So once you have added this dependencies, so this is a one-time activities and Eclipse will already uh, will fetch all the jar files that are needed for the project automatically from the Maven site. Uh, sorry. Yeah, from the Maven site. So let me save this file. And as you can see, it is building the workspace in here. So it is fetching the jar file from the site. And now if you can see and if you go in here, so if we expand all the all the jar file that we used to add in uh, by right clicking on property, then I'm going to add external jars, all those are automatically fetched. So all the selenium, all the uh, different types of uh, jar files that we specified against this dependency, those are fetched. So this is a one-time activity and this is very helpful. So maintaining your POM file is very important and that should be taken care of by the uh, coder. So whenever you want any additional functionality, just add the dependency in this POM file. So for now, I will be closing this. Just save the changes you have made. And now it's time for us to start coding. So the first thing that we will be doing in this uh, video is, so what we'll do is we'll create a feature file and in the next subsequent videos, we can go with the step definition as well as the test runner file. So for that, let's create some packages in here. So right click new package. So the first package would be for feature. So let's name it as features and just click on finish. So this is a package added in here. Similarly, just add in a new package. So something for step definition. So whatever step definition file will be coming under this package. So just click on here. And the third one is for runner class. So let's call it as runner. So we have created in the package and now it's time to create our first feature file. So just right click on it and click on new and then a file and just click here. So we will be doing the new tools login scenario. So let's name it as new tour underscore login. So some meaningful name and as remember, as you are, as told earlier, so the feature file will have an extension as feature. So let's write the file name as new tour underscore login dot feature and just click on finish. So once that is done, now you can see your feature file is uh, already created in here and now it's time for us to write the actual uh, scenario. So the very first thing that we would be defining is the feature. So we'll write feature as login action. So we'll be doing the login action. So we can also write as new tools login action. So let us write new tools login action. Okay, now the second thing that we would be specifying is the scenario. 
So let us have a scenario. Just right. And we will be doing a valid login scenario. So valid uh, new to login scenario. So let us copy this and write in here. Okay, so this is a valid new to login scenario. Now it's time to write the actual scenario. So the first thing that we will assume is we will write given and we will specify that user is already on the new tools page. So this is given. The second thing is we will write as when when we will uh, so we will verify the title we can verify the title in step uh, so we'll write title of new tools login page so what we'll do is we'll print this title so we'll write printed so once it is printed then we'll write then user enters so it will confirm that once it is printed so will we uh, confirm that user is on the new tools law home page so after that we will ask the user to enter then user enters username and password okay then after this the next action from user will be then user clicks on login or sign in button so we'll write in sign in or login button anything can do then once this is done then user will be on the home page landing page after login so we'll write then user is on home page okay so once he's on home page our login is successful and what we'll do after that is that we will log out then after he's on the home page so our scenario is done so we will log out so user logs out and lastly we'll close the browser okay so right now we have defined a valid new to login scenario and we have written that when the so given will always specify that whatever should be there so uh, what prerequisite should be there so user should be already on the new tools page in order to log in so that's why we have mentioned in here and whatever the code that will be needed uh, as a part of this sentence will be writing into the uh, subsequent step definition file which will be linked to this given statement so when he's on the uh, new tools login page so he will verify the title then he will uh, enter the username and password and then afterwards he'll click on the login button so once that is done, uh, if successful login is done, he will be on the home page and from there user can log out. And after that, the browser closes. So in this way, we can define n number of scenarios in our uh, feature file. So anything we can write. So this is one scenario. So this is another scenario. So we can specify that this is the first one is valid or new tools login. So then we can specify as invalid new to uh, login with incorrect username. Then we can copy this invalid new to, uh, we can write the steps below it. So there will be some steps below it, just as the above one. And then the next scenario is invalid new to login with incorrect password. So in this way, we can have n number of scenarios and uh, we can execute them. So for now, we will be removing this as we are just concentrating on our one scenario. So now you notice this, you are getting a, a yellow color uh, line under this. And if you just go over to the uh, hover to the description, you will be seeing that it is says no definition found for user is already on the new. So it means there is no step definition defined for this step. So as we have not written the step definition file yet, we will be getting this error. And after all the step definition have been written, then this error will be gone. So in this case, uh, we have prepared uh, the feature file and now we are ready to go on to the step definition file. So that we will see in our next lecture that how to create a step definition file. And yeah, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the content and do post your comment in the comment section below. So,
थैंक यू एंड हैव अ गुड डे